Costa with a C, I've got a, a big question for you. I mean, the others too, if you guys want it, but I, I know that Costa probably knows a tiny bit more about this. Uh, if Pedense were to come back, what's the the bigger return? Him or Sasha Vizenkov, the basketball team? <laughs> what is the bigger return and what makes you happier? What's Ooh. more important? Oh, that's hard. That's hard. I mean, I prioritize football, so for me, the Podence return would be okay. Put, put, put your okay. Put your what you prioritize to the side. Uh, from what you know, what do you think is more important? Because because we are talking the way that we're talking right now about Podence is yeah. sort of the way that we were talking about Vizenkov in basketball. Right. Like we are treating him like Jesus, like our Messiah, which which uh, which I agree with. I, as I said, our before, prodigal son, wrong, he is returned. needed. He's very, very important to this team, and he's going to be a fantastic signing. Is he going to be our Vizenkov? Is he our Michael Jordan? Is he our Messiah? Man, the, the way it was at the end of last season, particularly in the league when we were getting stuck, I, I think about the Panathinaikos game at the end of the season yeah. where we're basically looking to book, uh, book our place in, in Europe without having to worry about the cup final. And, you know, he's provided the assist for the Jovetic header and then he's scored that delightful chip from outside the box. And, you know, that, that kind of game and overall his performances when he was uh, playing on the Mendeleeva, it was just, just a joy to watch him week in, week out. The most consistent I've ever seen him in red and white. Right. Um, is, it, is it the same as Vizenkov? I don't think it is. Uh, I... On the one hand, I, I look at, like, I'm super happy, obviously, that Sasha's back, but there's this whole predicament in the basketball squad now. It's like, okay, what are you going to do with Petrusev, like one of the biggest, biggest talents in the same position in the EuroLeague? Are you going to keep him? Is he going to have enough minutes? What's going to happen to Alec Peters? Can Alec Peters play the three? Can, uh, can Sasha Vizenkov play the three now that he's been in the NBA for one season and he's, you know, put muscle on and his body's changed a bit? Is he going to be able to shoot as well? I don't know. Like, there's there's a lot of questions in the basketball team to a point where you know it's it's really not not the same in 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 terms of fit because I think Pedence comes back and he's you know he's taking a shirt home and there's really no no questions no questions asked. So so we just signed Velde, great, but okay. I don't know, man. Uh, it's a really good question. Which one am I more happy about? Well, obviously, Vizenkov, because Vizenkov's back. Uh, Pedence, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. But uh, no, that's a, that's a hard one to answer. I, I did my best. Costa's Kost, just given the most diplomatic political answer I've ever heard on this podcast. Like, that was so... I, I was just... There was a point where I was just thinking, okay, gun to your head, motherfucker. Pick one. Because you've tried to make both of them as if, as if they're watching us and you don't want to offend either of them. But fair <laughs> enough. I get it. I, I completely get where you're coming from. And um, I, I respect... I, I respect what you're saying. Uh, if I had to pick one, I think I think Vizenkov's bigger. Because Vizenkov... With Vizenkov's return means I think we can win the EuroLeague. Uh, Pedense not coming back will be detrimental, but it's not like we were going to win the Champions League or the Europa League. Um, that's that's the difference. Why? And as Dimitri, my, Dimitri K, the guy with the best name in the world, says, why not both? That's what we're hoping for. I'm just saying, if you had to pick one, we are, we're all hoping for both. But yeah. Let, uh... We're getting into basketball conversation now. Um, no, I know. It's because you came on. It's because you came on, bro. It's because you came on. Why not? Why not? Do you, really, why do you really think, okay, no, since we're having this conversation now, do you really think bringing Sasha back makes us, makes us like number one contender or just like in with a shout? Because you look at the moves that the other teams have made, man, and, and Balotelagos is strong, like Real Madrid's always strong. Fener's got a really like sick looking backcourt. They signed... Uh, Colson from uh, from Maccabi too. Uh, he can play the three, stretch four. Uh, there's a lot of strong teams, man. Like it's like the Euroleague's going to be hot as fuck next season. Without Sasha, um, we were going to be where we were last season, I think. And yeah, qualifying to the final four would have been a huge achievement. With Sasha back, I think we are top three. Alongside Real Madrid and unfortunately Panathinaikos because I think 
Panathinaikos have got stronger. Barcelona, I don't think Barcelona. yet because they've made too many big signings, and I I, I can't see how they're going to manage to gel them. But I said I said that I said that about Panathinaikos last year, and they ended up winning the Euroleague. So it is it is what it is. Um, so you, I think I think we're top three. I think I think Vizenkov could win it for us this year by him coming back. That one. Do, move. do you do you think he can play the three? No, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be it wouldn't be Sasha. It would be Sasha and Petrushev sharing the four and Peter's dropping down to the three and just physically trying to make it work. It's like shoehorning players out of position, like how you have Guinea fucking yeah. playing left back, right back, and all over the shot, pal. Uh, Sven Goran Eriksson, Euro two thousand four try to have Lampard Scholes and Gerard in the same team. <laughs> That's literally what we're gonna be seeing in the basketball team this year. And if it that works work. it, it work. didn't. But 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 if it works, that's it. No one can stop us offensively. If it doesn't, then there's a problem. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And I trust yeah. Bartokas a lot more than than um, any any of us and our, any of our the. Front, our front line is ridiculous, man. Like it's, at four and five, it's so sexy. Stacked. It's so sexy, man. It's so good. I can't. I can't wait. I'm, I've got bit, very big feelings after what ended up uh, very disappointingly last year. Not because we were bad. But just because my neck was so good, that's why it hurt. Because I, if yeah. they hadn't won it, if they hadn't won the Euro League, and if they hadn't beaten us in the way that they beat us in the finals, if they had just won that normally three two, but each team winning their home games, then I would have been okay with it. But it's the way that it happened that hurts. Yeah. But I'm very yeah. very happy with the moves that we've made, and I'm excited. Just like I'm excited with football, I'm just as excited with basketball. And that's very rare that I'm excited about both teams at the start of a season like this. Um, and I think I think a lot of the fan base are, are are the same as me at the moment. There's a lot of optimism, or at least m maybe not some people in the Patreon group. Uh, but but I, I, most I people are optimistic. I think most people are optimistic, both with the football and the basketball team, that that we're going to see big things. And um, I hope I hope both teams reward that optimism because I think it's healthy being optimistic and having faith, having faith in Olympiacos. <laughs>